When Rufus Putnam and his band of New Englanders stepped onto the Ohio shore to establish the town of Marietta, they were about to begin one of the largest and most important chapters in American history. Driven by a sense of duty and cultural vision, these Revolutionary War officers and soldiers had come to the Ohio frontier to fulfill some unusual and lofty objectives. Of course, like all settlers, they were looking to make their fortune and secure their future. But the men of the Ohio Company of Associates wanted more than that. They made history by establishing the first legal American settlement in the old Northwest Territory. In doing so, they made the first official move beyond the recognized borders of the newly formed United States. They opened the door west. The towns and villages they established on the Ohio frontier were models of organization and social planning. by bringing to Marietta the best traditions of old world civilization, like schools, churches, and doctors, and by leaving behind things they wished to reject, like slavery, the Ohio Company men sowed the cultural seeds that would eventually spread across the continent and grow into what we know today as the American nation. The story of this fascinating part of our country's beginnings has never before been told for television. Now, Shelburne Films and Ohio University's public television station, WOUB, are bringing this important story to American audiences. In a two-hour theatrical documentary, the tale of the Ohio frontier from 1785 to 1795 comes vividly to life. It was a wild country. There were very few trails. And of course, there were no roads and uh, very, very little uh, river traffic of any kind. What there was was usually just canoe traffic. And uh, so it, it was pristine and wild, filled with bear and cougar and, and just a variety of wild wild. Uh, Through interviews with eminent historians, researchers, and well-known authors, we learn the intriguing details of the dangers and challenges of bringing American civilization to the wild lands beyond the Ohio. There was a family. It's been written. came down. Of course, there are always speculators who ever with Those lands were already inhabited by Native American Indians, who came to look upon the settlements in the Ohio country as an invasion of their homeland. At a place called Big Bottom, on the Muskingum River, they massacred 12 settlers and took five more prisoners. <laughs> That began a five-year Indian war that would stop white settlement in its tracks. The native Indians would inflict two great defeats upon the American army, one of them among the worst the army has ever known. That conflict placed the very existence of the Ohio Company's settlements in doubt. How the frontier settlers, both white and black, adapted to these dangers and hardships, and how the company fared against these different threats, is an epic story indeed. The pristine landscape of the 1780s, and many of the frontier structures which no longer exist, are recreated for the viewer through exactingly accurate 3D computer animation. Campus Martius was the civilian fortification built by the company for its headquarters. It was a marvelous building, a story in itself. The point was the commercial settlement, which grew into the city of Marietta. 
The Ohio Company's settlement was, in many ways, unique in American history. It played a fundamental role in shaping our nation's growth. They came as a community. And Marietta is the opening of the West as far as the United States goes. But it did become, in many ways, the model for the development of the Midwestern region of the United States. Now, through the collaborative effort of Shelburne Films and WOUB Public Television, the story of the Ohio Company of Associates is finally being told.